family each and every child being judged on the content of his character and the color of his skin the da yesterday was said to be white but very few can argue that it is not 70 percent black but where the question becomes material and relevant in the structures where it matters it doesn't look like there are enough blacks at least playing a role okay. and for that they must be seen to be responsive okay we'll continue that conversation a little bit later prof let's go back inside and see what's happening there thank you thank you colleagues thank you good morning Molweni. Who are more Democrats? It's an honor for me to stand here as a leader who's coming from the only province that is governed by the TA. Where, as the TA, we are able to show the TA difference. I want to start by thanking the leader, Musima Imane who led the Day Zero campaign. All of us are aware that in Western Cape we are facing the worst drought ever, particularly in the city of Cape Town. And colleagues, during the times of crisis, people want to see their leaders. And that is why it was very, very important for the leader, Musima Imane, to lead that Day Zero campaign. And partly because of that, Many people from Cape Town heeded the call. They have reduced water consumption. We are able to say, if we can continue doing that, we can avoid day zero this year. Thank you very much, leader. You? Colleagues, I just want to say one or two things about the DA government in the Western Cape, because I am here to share with you some of the things that we are doing differently as the DA. We are aware that the hottest topic currently is the land issue. And in the Western Cape, we have shown under the DA where we have 62% success rate compared to the 90% failure rate of the ANC government nationally. Because what we are doing differently in the Western Cape, we allow people who are working on the land to partner with those who have skills and financial assistance so that land can continue to be productive. The second thing that we are doing in the Western Cape, while the EFF and the ANC want South Africans to be the tenants of the state, we are making sure that people are getting title deeds in the Western Cape. <laughs> Up to date, colleagues, we have issued 91,000 title deeds in the Western Cape. <laughs> also in the Western Cape, when we took over, we wanted to make sure that we do three things. We grow the economy, we create jobs, but also improve in our education. As I'm talking to you now, since we took over in the Western Cape, we have built a whopping 118, 000, uh, 118 schools in the same period where the ANC built only 34 in nine years. We have also managed to reduce the, the poor performance in those schools. There were 78 when we took over. We have now reduced those schools to only 19 as I'm talking to you now. People want to invest where the government is governing well. In the Western Cape, if you look at the Auditor General report of last month, it clearly indicated that in the Western Cape we are governing well. 85% of municipalities in the Western Cape received a clean audit. And the second province was this one, where we are now, Gauteng, at a distant 52%. Now, colleagues, that is a TA difference. Since 2009, because of that, 
we have managed to attract billions of investment, and we have created almost 600,000 jobs in the Western Cape. In the Western Cape, we have the lowest infant mortality rate, we have the, the highest life expect, uh, expectancy, which means if you're living in the Western Cape, you will live longer. So, colleagues, I can go on and on about the TA difference where we are in government in the Western Cape, but in the interest of time, this is a story for another day. But we are here to say to South Africans, this is what will happen in your province if you make sure that you vote DA come 2019 so that Musima Imana can be the president of South Africa so that you can feel the DA different. Viva DA, viva! Viva!